Hey, what's going on you guys? Brother Doug here, bringing you another static review. Uh, first and foremost, I couldn't get a physical copy this week because my schedule is just kind of uh, very fluctuated, but uh, I was able to read it digitally. Now, let me clarify some things because people think I'm against digital. No, no, I said digital is convenient. I'm just saying I'm just afraid of comic shots being closed down, but you know, to each their own. I mean, any way you could read a comic, by all means. I mean, look what they're doing now with the streaming wars. You know, you got uh, this, the day and date release uh, with all these movies on HBO Max and Disney Plus, And, you know, that's not going so well right now. I mean, with the Scarlett Johansson thing. But that's for another blog. <laughs> I mean, whatever's convenient, right? If you don't want to leave your home, you don't want to go out to the store, to the movies, what have you. It's easily accessible. Is what I'm trying to say. I'm still upset with the lack of promotion that DC is giving, not just static, but just the Milestone books in general. We ain't seen Milestone in like 10 years, man. Well, the Milestone characters. Remember the last one was, uh, what, New 52? I know Static is on uh, the new Young Justice, and he was going to be on uh, Injustice too. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, rights issues with McDuffie's wife, this whole nonsense. But thankfully, you know, it's a catch-22 with this, but... Static is only six issues. It's a mini series, so you know I want it to be an ongoing series. But you know we have to keep supporting this book, and maybe it will be. Now, to be completely fair, and I'm only honest with you guys, someone asked me on the last video, I think, in the comment section, um, or was it on Facebook? Either way, someone asked me, "Hey, are you going to pick up the new Rocket and Icon?" Listen, I don't read every black book that comes out. I mean, granted, even with Marvel, I don't even know who. I mean, I know of Ironheart, but I don't really know her backstory like that. I mean, listen, just because I'm black doesn't mean I adhere to all the black characters on any franchise, guys. <laughs> I remember years ago, uh, prior to Disney buying Star Wars, someone just thought I immediately liked Lando because, you know, I'm, you know, black. Like, bro, I love Han Solo. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. And I think this will be a spoiler-filled video. So if you haven't read the issue, I suggest going to Comixology or going to your local comic shop. Read that and then come back and then we'll discuss this. But for those who have read it and don't care about spoilers, let's get started. All right, man. So Daisy has powers. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but, you know, they start this issue off with one of uh, a big pet peeve of mine. You know, I hate in superhero mediums, whether it be film, television or comics, where superheroes reveal their identities to like the general public. Like, come on, man. That that kind of defeats the purpose. That's like watching, like, I, that's why I low-key stopped watching the Flash TV show because it seems like every season Barry befriends somebody and then, like, two episodes later, he shows them who they are. They're like, oh, my God, the Flash. The next episode, Barry? I mean, in, like, certain circumstances, sure, you can reveal your identity a bit, but don't, don't do it. I, I don't know, guys. It, it's, it's really hard to convey. But that's just a pet peeve of mine. And see, because of this, uh, Virgil revealed, as I said, his uh, identity and his powers to his parents and to his neighbors. Um, he has to be really discreet now with his powers because now everyone's telling him what to do. With his powers, like, you know, don't go out there looking for trouble. And, you know, you got to keep your powers on the low. And he hates it because he, in, in a, in a Spider-Man way, you know, great power comes great responsibility. You know, he wants to go out there and do the right thing. But, you know, he's also looking out for his family, you know. So he calls Curtis Metcalf. And for those who aren't big Milestone fans, everybody knows who that is. If you are a Milestone fan, that's a hardware. So Static calls Curtis. And I don't think Static knows that Curtis is actually, you know, hardware. Hardware is like the Black Iron Man. Um, so, or War Machine. <laughs> Depending on who you how you look at it but no yeah more so iron man i'm sorry guys <laughs> like you know iron man builds his own suits and Rhodey just you know wears them but curtis gives virgil a location to go pick up some new gear possibly his new uh, uniform his new suit uh because he sees all kind of you know items that look pretty viable but the cops show up and that's the cliffhanger of this issue. So overall, the episode was pretty... Episode. The issue was pretty cool. You know, um, thank God his house didn't burn down. But there, there is massive damage outside. You know, nothing valuable was damaged, uh, as Virgil and his father said, as they were going around the house. Thank God for that. Because I think they were paying homage to, you know, when they burned down Malcolm X's house in the 60s. And, you know, uh, Virgil is a big Malcolm X fan, if you read the 90s series. But since this is a DC uh, episode of my blog, um, I wanted to kill two birds with one stone. So the other day, 
uh, Warner Brothers invited me to San Francisco to watch uh, an early screening of the Suicide Squad. And, man, I- I'll say this. <laughs> this movie should have been the first movie. No disrespect to David Ayer or Will Smith. Uh, was not really a slight spoiler. Um, not not a spoiler. You know, it's a spoiler filled video. It's not spoilery with um, the spoiler doesn't attain, p- pertain to uh, Suicide Squad. But you know the dynamic that Will Smith had with his daughter in the first movie. That's basically the same thing with uh, Bloodsport and his daughter. Like they could have. You can definitely tell that it was written for Will Smith. But you know, since Will Smith didn't want to return. Uh, I kind of get why they didn't do it. But you know, Will Smith. You know, he's he, he's still out there. His, not Will Smith, but Deadshot. But overall, I enjoyed the movie too, y'all. That they, they are right. This is probably the best comic book movie of the year because Black Widow was trash. Uh, yeah. Make sure y'all go see Suicide Squad next week, uh, August sixth, I believe. Uh, make sure you go out to your local comic shop and purchase Rocket and Icon. Even though I haven't read the book, you guys can still go read it if you are a big supporter of Black Comics. Um, continue reading Static. The next issue comes out next month. And like always, y'all keep following me on. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, hit my cash app, Uh, like the video, share the video, subscribe, and like always, deuces.